how to shoot cinematic music videos. Three tips. Also, stay to the end for one bonus tip. Welcome to the video. Crack a lag on the track. What's up everyone, my name is Cracklack. Welcome back to Cracklack TV. Today's video, we're in Indianapolis, Indiana. I'm about to shoot a cinematic music video for the artist right here, v -Lo, the phone tutorial guy. For the music video, we need some candles. So we're here at Myers, about to buy a bunch of candles. I'll show you guys what we put together and also give you guys some tips on how to shoot more cinematic music videos and some behind the scenes of me actually shooting the music video. Welcome to the video. Cracklack on the track. $1.39, we can just buy all of them. Are these sticks? Hand sanitizer. Hey, video purposes, you can hear what I'm saying. I'm all about saving money, being cheap, right? This is what, $1.50? $1.59? $1.59 a piece. One, two, three. About 15 of them bitches. Did you go with that? Okay. Where they stand there? I don't want to get over. I'll set the bloody place on fire. Burn that bitch down. No, I just did that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm messing stuff up. They got these uh, cheap ones. Three dollars. We need like ten. <laughs> Watch what they do though. You said twenty-two dollars. Twenty-two dollars well spent. Watch. This ain't my uh my first music video. You good? No. Why? Mm -hmm. <laughs> this the hood, and this ain't the hood. We're like this. We're like, yeah, we're standing right on the line. Yeah. Up, we just took a Chipotle food break. Now we're back at the Airbnb. About to figure some shit out to shoot this music video. Yeah. I wonder if, if you're on your knees. Right. That was you give me on my goddamn knees. <laughs> right here, this is about. Cause then you can move your hands with it. You can, you can, I'll do that. I want them to be by your face. If you're holding yourself up, then you can't do the hands. I mean, I just had to stay right here. Okay, yeah, you can do the elbows. That works. Alright, for the first scene, dollar fifty-nine candles. We got about ten of them right here, and I got a fifty-five millimeter. Filming that one point eight tight close-up shot. Did you hand on your face like you did earlier? Bro, we just did this. That's one scene. Proud of yourself? Yeah, I am, man. We just fing whipped this shit together. Don't show me. Hey. Alright, tip one for how to shoot a cinematic music video is lighting and adding shadows. For example, right now we have all the lights on and I'll show you what this looks like. So below it right there. You see how this looks. Now this does look clean and everything, but how much more cinematic and epic does this look? When you turn off all the lights, now you see more shadows and it makes it more dramatic and intense. And the only lights we have is from these candles right here. Even if we didn't have candles and we just had the light on over there, so that way the light is kind of on that side of his face. He's got a shadow on one side, light on the other side. It makes it more cinematic. Say, crack, I'm on 10th. Y'all want me to bring any prostitutes? <laughs> 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 I was talking some shit at my I said, this ain't my first music video. <laughs> what we're gonna do, we're gonna blow all the candles except for one, turn off the lights again, and I'm gonna get a slow-mo shot, real close, flame. End of the video, fade to black. All right, let's try it. Three, two, one. Let us know in the comments if you can understand what he just said. <laughs> <laughs> We're doing some bitch shit, guys. Yeah, that was one scene. That was really fucking good. Yeah. Like, pot and off. Mm -hmm. 
All right, you guys, for tip two, using low aperture. Basically, if, if you're looking for a, a lens that's good in low light, you want a lens that has a low aperture. So for example, right now I'm using a 55 millimeter and it can go down to a 1.8. So the lower the aperture, the more shallow the depth of field. For example, if I was to stick my finger out or you see them pictures where just this is in focus and then my face is blurry or if someone's downtown, they're standing there and all the lights behind them are all big and blurry and bulk it out. That's when you shoot at a low aperture. One of my lens can only go down to an F4 and that's not really, doesn't really give you that shallow depth of field. So for that cinematic look, use a lens that can go down to like a 1.8. Some lenses can even go down to like a 1.4. I'm doing a tight shot and I'm gonna film at 1.8. Malik, to continue using tip number one with lights and shadows, he's got the light going off the wall. This side of his face is kind of lit up. There's definitely some shadows. Shadows add to the mood. Yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like. Yeah, I want to say that too. So, shooting a good music video, it does take two to tango. Is that what they say? It takes two to tango. We be tangoing in this. <laughs> no. like, having an artist that that knows how to like work the camera and look cool. It makes our job as videographers a whole lot easier because it, it could be very different. He could not know what to do. He could look really awkward and weird and no matter how good you are at doing what you do with the camera, our job is to make them look as good as possible. By them naturally looking good, it, it just makes it easier for us. Directors remember to be vocal and like speak. Try to make them feel as comfortable as they can to give you the energy that you need for the shots that you're getting. Earlier we were at this uh, kids event filming it and they had some animals and they had some goats. What'd you say? Y'all need an extra goat? You had to be there. Yeah, it was so had funny. To be. Like, I'm going to laugh so hard. <laughs> yeah, this shit ain't even playing this fuck right now, but it was hard there. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to Malik for making this up. I was just going to have the regular lamp on, and then he said, wait, maybe you can squeeze the light that we have up in here, and then what we're going to do, I can't actually reach this. You're making me nervous. I, I, I'll do it. So the lead is gonna reach up here and move this, and it's gonna be swinging above him, and he's gonna do a performance shot right here. Everything that I've filmed so far has been real tight close-up shots, and then it's gonna be real wide. I'm gonna be filming at 16 millimeter, and I'm gonna actually use my gimbal. So I have a DJI Ronin M stabilizer, and I'm gonna also be filming at 60 frames per second. That way, while I'm editing it, I can slow-mo some of the parts do my crack like speed ramping shit that I like to do. But I've done it in by every one of your videos. Yo, that's like yo signature look. Stay tuned for tip number three and also a bonus tip. We got the goat out here in Indianapolis. You know how it's hanging. <laughs> <laughs> Video on the way. Okay, that's what we'll do. It'll be like a three, two, one, play the song and then give it a good look. Just so that way it is moving. Mm -hmm. Candle scene, window scene, standing on the rug, wide scene. Now we're gonna do sitting on the couch scene. This, this is gonna be the fourth and final scene. The third tip is to use close-up shots. When you film wide, it just reminds me of uh, like your phone. A cell phone video when someone pulls it out and they're just recording someone, you know, where you can see everything that's going on above them, below them. Wide doesn't give you that cinematic look. Now when you get close-up and it's real tight shots, it makes it look more cinematic. So for most of this music video, I was filming at 55 millimeters which is pretty close. Tight shots like this helps a lot with the cinematic look.
did it. Hey, there we go. Good, 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 good. All right. <laughs> All right, you guys, the bonus tip is to add slow motion. Whenever you see slow motion and you include the previous three tips, it's gonna look super epic and cinematic. So what I've been doing throughout this video is after every scene of getting a performance shot, I also got some B-roll of slow motion. If you don't know how to film slow motion, I have a tutorial on the channel. Three tips on how to film better B-roll. Make sure you check that out. I'll put a link on the screen and in the description. All right, you guys, to check out the full length cinematic music video, I'm gonna put a link on the screen. Also also in the description and in the comments below. Let me know in the comments which tip was your favorite. I'll see you guys next video. Crack a like TV. We out.